So even though I don't sell G4 systems anymore, uh, the number one email question that I get asked uh, from my viewers is what is the best browser to use on the G4 systems? Now it's been a couple of years since I've addressed this issue so I thought I'd throw you guys a bone and I'll spend a couple of days researching the issue and uh, I'm going to show you what I found out. So, once again, I'm giving up my modern Mac for a few days and I'll be using this old Mac Mini G4 system from 2005. I'll be doing this to truly immerse myself in the experience of browsing the web on a G4 system. Since this system doesn't have Bluetooth, I'll have to use this old Logitech USB mouse. So, you can see the specs of this G4 is a 1.25 GHz with 1 GB of RAM. It's not even the fastest G4 Mac Mini they made. So, let's look at the browsers. The contenders this time around are as follows. Aurora, Camino, Firefox, 104 Fox, WebKit, and Safari. So these specific browsers are the only ones available for the G4 platforms. Now if you've come here looking for the best browser on a modern Mac or a Windows PC, this is not the video for you. This is only for uh, people who have the old PowerPC G4 systems or perhaps even a G3 for that matter. So let me talk briefly about each of these browsers before we get started. I'll be using Firefox 3.6.28, which is obsolete, but it was the last officially supported version for the PowerPC platform. Camino is also based on the Mozilla browser engine, but the front end is tailored more for Mac users. Aurora Fox and 104 Fox are both projects meant to bring more modern Mozilla code into a browser supported on the PowerPC systems. Safari 5.06 is obsolete, but it was the last officially supported browser by Apple on the PowerPC systems. The WebKit I'll be using is essentially the guts of the modern Safari that have been compiled to run on the PowerPC systems. So it should be noted that these four browsers are essentially all based off the Mozilla code and these other two browsers here are based off of WebKit. Unfortunately Google Chrome does not exist on the PowerPC nor does any modern version of Internet Explorer. So these are the only choices. So the first thing I did was I ran a series of speed tests on each browser to see how they performed. I used the Sun Spider test for testing JavaScript performance. I also used speedbattle.com and the Peacekeeper test for testing HTML5 performance. So here are the results for the Sun Spider test. In this particular case, the smaller number is the better performer. Aurora Fox pretty much takes the crown here with the obsolete Firefox coming in last place. The speed battle results are very similar. In this case, the higher number is the better performer. The obsolete Firefox still comes in last with the 104 Fox just inching out as the winner. The Peacekeeper test was far more interesting as it shows a variety of bizarre tests on the screen. This was more interesting because you could actually visually see the differences between one browser and the next. The winner was clear just by watching the test without even seeing the results. Aurora Fox takes top place again and was one of only three browsers that could play the video stream smoothly along with Safari and WebKit. Just for giggles, I ran the test on this first generation iPad to see how it compared with browsing on a G4 Mac Mini. It was completely unable to play any of the video streams, but it still landed a 228, which means browsing speed is pretty similar to a G4 system. Now, these testing websites are all nice and everything, but I thought I should incorporate some real world tests. I used a stopwatch and tested each browser several times for opening certain websites such as my Gmail account and Facebook. Oddly enough, the old Safari browser beat out everything on Gmail by a good margin, with Aurora Fox coming in second place and surprisingly 104 Fox coming in last. Facebook managed to surprise me again with WebKit coming in first place and 104 Fox coming in last. However, there was no measurable difference in any of these browsers where Facebook was concerned. And of course, YouTube opens a whole can of worms, and none of the browsers work very well in YouTube, and everybody who owns a G4 already knows this. However, it's not as clear-cut as it would seem. Uh, the difference actually depends greatly upon the specific video that you're watching, and I'll try to explain how that works. YouTube has for many years allowed people to choose between watching videos in Adobe Flash or HTML5. You can make this choice by going to www.youtube.com slash html5. Keep in mind that Flash hasn't been supported on the PowerPC systems for years and it performs terrible. Okay, so here's the catch. If the video has advertising attached to it, it will not play in html5. So if your browser doesn't support Flash, 
then you will just get a black box and that's the end of the story. If you use 10.4 Fox with YouTube, the videos are terrible, much like the Peacekeeper test showed. However, Aurora Fox WebKit and Safari will play decent HTML5 video on YouTube, assuming the video does not have advertising. If you must use Flash-based video, both Camino and the old Firefox will play the content decently, especially if you lower the quality settings down to 240p. I'll show you another trick I found on some websites. Take my local news station, for example. If you try to watch a video, they insist that you have Adobe Flash, and you will not be able to watch the video without it. However, if you add mobile after the URL, it will think you're browsing on an iPad, which doesn't have Flash. So the layout will be different, but the content is the same. And the great part is, since they know the iPad doesn't have Flash, they now offer HTML5 streaming video. So you can watch the videos in modern browsers like Aurora Fox. One other thing I thought I'd mention about the Camino browser. It comes uh, as a universal binary off of Camino's website, but there is another website you can download Camino off of that will give you a G4 optimized uh, compile of, of Camino. And so um, I tested the universal binary against the uh, G4 optimized version, and I found that the JavaScript test actually ran faster on the universal binary. All of the other tests ran faster on the G4 optimized version. Um, so I'm not sure if there's a whole lot of benefit of using the optimized version. Uh, I will point out, though, uh, the optimized version is much smaller. Uh, so perhaps on computers with limited memory, it might actually make a bigger difference, but with one gig of RAM, apparently, it just doesn't make that much difference. So, what final conclusion can I come to? I'd like to be able to throw out a browser name and say, you know, this is the one best browser to use, but it's really not that simple. Uh, I would say if you're a G4 user, you're probably going to be depending upon at least two or three different browsers, depending upon what you need to do. If you absolutely have to run websites that use Adobe Flash, uh, then Camino is the browser for you. Um, anything else, I think uh, Aurora Fox uh, or perhaps the uh, new WebKit uh, is uh, probably going to be your best bet. Um, ultimately, you may end up doing what I uh, have done the last few days and I've just determined that, hey, if I know I'm going to be running website A, then I run browser A. If I'm running website B, I run browser B. And uh, that may just be what uh, what we have to do. Uh, as there's really not a lot of choice in the um, PowerPC world of browsing right now. Thanks for watching.